In this section, we're looking at the dramaturgical school of Kenneth Burke. And this is simply a dramatic analogy for how the communication process takes place. Uh, my thanks to two students, Arcana and Amita, for uh, finding some of the clever artwork that we've used on these slides. It's a better presentation thanks to their efforts. So we're looking at the dramatic metaphor that Kenneth Burke developed to explain communication behavior and the roles that people play. Now this combines the methodologies of Kuhn and Bloomer. Remember we said after the study of symbolic interactionism that uh, Bloomer retained a qualitative approach to the study of communication and that Kuhn and his followers at Iowa took a quantitative approach and Bloomer at the University of Chicago was was the qualitative and Kuhn was the, the quantitative, excuse me. So anyway, but these methodologies, as we've already discussed them, come back together and, and it's a blend of these two approaches as we look at, at the work that's used and developed by Kenneth Burke. In this presentation, we'll be looking at the work of Kenneth Burke and his dramatistic pentad, which is a methodological tool that's been used to generate a lot of research. We said that good theories generate research, that they have heuristic or research generating value. And in this case, we have a dramatistic metaphor or dramatic metaphor that's being used to explain communication behavior and the roles that people play as they exhibit that behavior. This combines the methodologies of both Kuhn and Bloomer. Remember we said that Kuhn had a quantitative approach and Bloomer had a more qualitative approach, which we'll see further when we get to narrative theory. But these two are blended in the, uh, these are a blend of the quantitative and qualitative approaches in this dramatistic metaphor. In dramatism, the act is the most basic concept. People not only create symbols, but they are able to talk about them. And we mediate our reality through our discussion and use of these symbols. An important term that Burke provides for us is consubstantiality, or the notion of identification, which occurs when there is a shared meaning. We feel the divisiveness, a separation from people when we don't share.